we're going to test management's assertions against the criteria that being generally accepted accounting principles and then of course we're going to determine overall fairness of the financial statements we then having made our opinion are going to issue our audit report to uh, the users of the financial statements key concepts in conducting an audit we have the concept of materiality audit risk and evidence these are going to come up all the time we want to have a firm grasp of these type of items materiality audit risk evidence what are those items let's start with materiality the size of an omission or misstatement of accounting information that makes it probable that the judgment of a reasonable person relying on the information would have been changed or uh, influenced by the omission or misstatement so that's a lot of information right there let's kind of break that down we can think about it intuitively we'll break it down by the definition we'll think about it intuitively now the reason materiality is going to be really important is because one that we're talking about often a lot of information if you're talking about a publicly traded company you're talking about a lot of information so it's not going to be the case that we can eliminate all errors or say hey we, you know anytime any kind of question test question happens all the time which says that we guarantee this we guarantee that there's no errors in the financial statement or no we guarantee there's been no uh, fraud we guarantee that there's no any guarantee is not something an auditor would say just like that's not something a lawyer would say it's it's you just can't ever guarantee anything uh because it's it's factually inaccurate and it would be liability wise not wise <laughs> type of wording to say so any test question that says that uh, the auditor is guaranteeing anything is probably false that's that's just not going to be the case so we're always going to be seeing this term uh materiality 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 and and when we think about the financial statements materiality you'll hear the same kind of idea as a reasonable person type of idea remember what the end result is the users were typically thinking possibly investors we want to make sure that there's not a material misstatement or we're looking to reduce the likelihood of a material misstatement being present which would result in something like investors making decisions to say invest uh when when they would not have made that decision had that mistake not been there so that's in essence what we're thinking about with materiality we're saying